I just picked up my kids from innocent school. Kids. My innocent kids. Yeah, right. And Hi! <laughs> Hi, big girl! Oh. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Today, we are going to do a fun little concealer experiment. I am constantly asked what concealer is the best and my absolute favorite concealer I have ever used is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This concealer is nothing short of a miracle. If you have mature skin, if you have dry skin, if you have normal to dry, normal combination, if you have fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, dark circles, this product does it all. It keeps my under eye area looking so fresh, so hydrated all day long. And the best part is, that it doesn't sink into my fine lines that I do have underneath my eyes. It doesn't matter how much I talk throughout the day, how much I smile, whatever I do, at the end of the day, my under eye area still is looking as good as it can possibly look. I love, love, love this product. However, I'm always on the search for something better because I mean, come on. And I have seen this Hourglass Vanish Concealer promoted all over social media. I do personally love the Hourglass makeup brand as a whole and I got my hands on this product and I am just dying to try it out. So I figured why don't I do my Tarte Creaseless Concealer, my, my number one on one eye and we'll compare it to the Hourglass Vanish Concealer on my other eye. We'll go throughout the whole day together and see which one is the best at the end. And of course, we're going to start off with a comprehensive ingredients analysis because you know I love to look at the ingredients in the products. And the first one we're gonna take a look at is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Now, when I was looking through this product, I was thinking to myself, whenever I use this formula, it's very thick, but it's very dewy. And for some reason, it just keeps my under eye area looking so incredible incredibly fresh and hydrated. What is in this product that's doing that? So naturally, I first looked at the emollients and I saw so many of my favorite emollients in this formula. Emollients help to make the skin feel very soft and supple and smooth, which are all things we want in that under eye area. Emollients also help to reduce the friction between the concealer itself and our skin when it's being applied. When I was looking through the emollients, there's tocopherol. Tocopherol is an antioxidant, it's vitamin E, and it does have skin smoothing properties. So with time, with use, continued use, you will see those fine lines beginning to smooth out. I was recently asked if I thought that ingredients in cosmetics products can it still make an impact on the skin? Can they permeate through sunscreen? And I have to say, I have never seen any research that says it can't. So I do believe it can, and until I find evidence-based research, which you know I always look at, I believe it can, and I will take whatever I can get because I am 37 years old and I want my skin to look as youthful as possible for as long as possible. Another emollient in this formula is caprylic capric triglyceride. I love this ingredient. It's a combination of coconut oil plus glycerin, and glycerin is that super hydrator and humectant. Humectants seep into our skin and they're water binding molecules. That means they're going to hold on to water and it's going to give us a temporary plumped up effect. This is a wonderful ingredient to have in a concealer, especially if you do have those fine lines like I do. Now keep in mind, coconut oil is comedogenic. That means if you are prone to blackheads, blemishes, breakouts, this ingredient could potentially be troublesome for you. Now, as I was looking through the ingredients, there are other humectants in this formula. There's some very nice moisturizing oils and extracts. There's also an ingredient. It's called bisdiglycerol polyacyl adipate 2. This ingredient, I think, is what is making this formula so incredibly wonderful. And that's because it's a water binding ingredient. So that means, once again, we're going to get that plumped up effect. This ingredient also adheres to the skin, so it's a film former, and it has a glossy finish. 
I believe that is what is giving this particular concealer that dewy finish I was telling you about earlier. So I think that is that miracle ingredient in this formula. That concludes the ingredients in this product. There are of course opacifying agents as well. I did forget to mention that. These are the colorants. They're going to make the formula more opaque, less clear, less translucent. And the colorants are going to change based on the color of the actual concealer. So I overall love the ingredients in this formula. I love the way this formula makes my under eye area look. And in comparison, we now have the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This formula was very different when I looked at the ingredients. Starting off, there are so many different extracts in this formula, which are going to help to brighten the under eye area, reduce inflammation, reduce hyperpigmentation, the dark circles. And to me, this almost read more as a skincare product than a concealer. The Camellia Leaf Extract is very brightening. The Matricaria Flower Extract is anti-inflammatory, so it's going to help to reduce puffiness underneath the eye area or eye bags. The Licorice Root helps to decrease pigmentation and to minimize the appearance of dark circles. This formula also does contain the Skin Soothing Plant Extract Tiger Grass, as well as Squalane. Now, if you have watched any of my skincare videos, you know that I love squalane. Squalane is a very hydrating ingredient. It's something our bodies naturally produce, but over time, with age, of course, the production of it slows down, and we want to replenish our skin with as much squalane as possible. I use squalane in my skincare regimen every single day, and I was absolutely thrilled that it's in this concealer. This concealer also does contain many different silicone silicones, and silicones are emollients that serve a few different purposes. They help to decrease transepidermal water loss because they form these lattice-like structures on the skin, and water molecules can't pass through the little holes in the lattice, but oxygen and other nutrients can. That means that the water that's in your skin, the moisture, it's going to stay there. And that means that those fine lines and wrinkles are going to be minimized because your skin is going to be nicely plumped up. Aside from the emollients, we do have opacifying agents once again. There is mica in this formula. Now mica is a natural mineral with sparkle and shine. I love the fact that mica is in this formula, at least in theory, because when you put something on your under eye area that's going to be a little bit sparkly or shimmery or have a sheen to it, it's going to create this blur type quality to your skin, almost as if you're wearing a filter on your face. And that's because the mica contains light reflecting particles. So it's going to diffuse the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and that is fantastic for me. Overall, both of these formulas look great to me. I've already said it before, I love the tart, but the Hourglass was really interesting, and to me it had more of an anti-aging component to it, and I'm all about the anti-aging, so I'm really keen to try this one out. Let's first start off with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, since it's my favorite, and this particular product retails for $26.00 the USA. Here in Dubai, this concealer is 100 dirhams. That comes out to 27 US dollars. I forgot to mention earlier, it includes maracuja oil. This is what actually is the basis of so many different Tarte products. Maracuja oil actually comes from the passion fruit flower, and it is full of fatty acids. Now remember, the stratum corneum of our skin, the outermost layer, is kind of in a bricks and mortar setup. Up, the bricks are the skin cells, the mortar is the lipid matrix. Inside that lipid matrix, we have ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. And as we get older, guess what happens? That lipid matrix starts to deplete, and it's part of the aging process. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it's responsible for our skin looking very supple and youthful. 
So we want to replenish it as much as we can, as often as we can with fatty acids. And that's probably another reason as to why I love this concealer so much. The wand itself has a nice doe foot at the end, very easy for application. And with this product, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm now going to put this on my under eye area and this is all that I use. I basically do one, two, and I also like to put a, a little bit of this on that inner orbital area. What do you actually call this part of the face? I can't remember. And that's how much I put on. That's all you need. If you are over 30 years old, this is all you need. Don't do it the way you've seen it before on those amazing Instagram videos. That it does not apply to real life. So then I'm going to take just a beauty blender sponge. This is damp. And all I'm going to do is just bounce it onto my skin. I just press the formula right into my skin. And I don't mind if it gets a little bit on my eyelid, not a big deal. There you go. So my concealer is applied easy enough. In the last two minutes, I managed to break my curtain, so you can probably see it there in the reflection of the mirror. It's stressing me out. I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna sage it, <laughs> give it five minutes and try again. Now let's try out the Vanish Concealer by Hourglass. And I wanna start off by saying, this concealer retails for $34 in the USA, so it's a bit more expensive than the Tarte. But, and brace yourself, ladies, it is 190 dirhams here in the UAE. That comes out to 52 US dollars. $52 for a concealer. That's, that's, <laughs> that's insane. It is just crazy. I have no idea why the price hike is so much more out here. Typically in Dubai, we always have to spend a little bit more money for any product that comes from the US, but this is absolutely outrageous. I could never spend 190 dirhams on a concealer. When I looked at the price this morning, I almost spit out my cappuccino. The shade I'm using is Cedar, and I thought the shade was a little bit too dark for me, but when I was at the Sephora PR event, the Hourglass representative told me Cedar was absolutely the right color. The shade that's lighter is pure white. So I said, okay, so here we're gonna give it a try. And I do want to mention that the applicator is almost like an, a flat oval. It's very different than the typical doe foot type of applicator, but it looks nice and it looks like it would fit nicely into that under eye area. So there we have it, and it does feel a little bit dark for me. This seems like a color my mom would wear, and my mom's skin is significantly tanner than mine. I do not have tan skin. So I'm using a different Beauty Blender sponge, and that blended in very easily. Wanted to use a different sponge because I remember from my science class days back when I was in high school, you only want one variable. And actually, the I do have a master's and a bachelor's degree in the sciences as well. It blended in fine. It did seem dark, but I think it looks great on my under eye area now. And you can see here is the magic. I keep saying magic thinking it's a Charlotte Tilbury. Here is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And here is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Now I'm going to set it with just a touch, and I mean a touch of powder. Because I do have the fine lines under my eyes, less is always more when you're applying product. And today I'm going to use the Urban Decay Fix Powder. I just reviewed this one, and I love it. The brush I'm using is the Wayne Goss brush. I think this is number two. Yep, this is brush number two. This is a great powder brush. If you have mature skin, dry skin, fine lines, and wrinkles, I love this brush. I've actually had it for quite a while too, and it's still in great condition. So I'm just going to lightly, lightly, lightly press this powder into my under eye area. All right, and I'm done. Now, looking in the mirror, I have to say, I think both eyes look 
great right now. They look really similar to me. I'm not seeing much of a difference between the two concealers, but of course a true concealer test needs time. So I'm going to bring you along with me for the rest of my day to see how these two products wear on my under eye area. And now I am going to go put on the rest of my makeup. I have gotten a few requests lately for some makeup tutorials. If there's anything you'd like to see that you have in mind, just let me know. And the rest of my makeup is now on. I have to say I am so happy with how the Hourglass Vanish is looking right now. There were no red flags. I didn't see any red flags waving on my under eye area. So, so far, so good. And of course, I love the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I changed as well because I have so many errands to run, so much to do today. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. I am going to put on some perfume and I think today I will use, let me see which one, which one. I have so many perfumes, it's insane. I collect them, I guess. I'm always gifted perfumes. I'm going to put on this Into the Night. This is actually by Bath and Body Works. It smells so much like the YSL Opium. It's sort of a dupe for it. This would be a great perfume for sexy date nights. Okay, I'm sure my dad heard that. Sorry, dad. And I did put on this little moon necklace I have. I just thought of it as I was putting it on. I should share it with you. I go to Algonquit, Maine every summer. It's a big family tradition. My whole family goes there. We party for an entire week up there. They have this cute little store that has all these little jewelry and little just pieces for your home and ugh, my daughter and I love going there. Anyways, I decided to wear this today. I was thinking about Algonquit, I guess. So I am going to go pick my kids up from school and they are my toughest critics ever. I actually had to ban the word jiggle in my household because my kids were using it way too much in reference of uh, my physique, and we don't say bad words in the house, or at least the kids don't say them. They're also not allowed to say jiggle. Jiggle is a bad word in Lauren O'Connell's house. So if you ever come here, please don't say the word jiggle. Oh my gosh, no one ever told me this stuff would happen when I have kids. Anyways, enough of me talking, let's go. I just picked up my kids from school. Innocent kids. Ugh, innocent kids. And, and guys, I have a question for you. This is something I'm doing today for my YouTube channel and I'm comparing two different concealers. Concealer is makeup that goes right on your under eye area and it's supposed to help the area look less blue or less dark okay. and also just to help it look more youthful to make brightened. mommy look young. Huh? And brightened? Yeah, brightened. It's my girl. Anyways. <laughs> Look, I'm using two different concealers today, one under one eye and the other one under the other eye. I want you to tell me which eye looks better or which eye looks younger, or you could say which eye looks older and yuckier. Show me. All right, so take a look at mommy's eyes. Which one looks better? Um, that one. I'll say that one. The one I agree with Jack. You think this one looks better? Yeah. That Okay, both kids said that my left eye looks better. Remember, my left eye had the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It's because the right eye, um, if you look at it carefully, you can see like the red stripes that come in your eye. No, not my eyeball. You have to look at the skin underneath my eye. Oh. All right, let's try again. Look at the skin underneath my eye. Which skin looks I better? I still think the same one. You still think this one? All right, what do you think? Hurry up. Wait, so look at me. Look at me, Mom. The left eye. Oh, okay. They still both like the left eye. So, kids have spoken. We They're so this. honest. And they like the the hourglass. So, all right, let's get these kids home. Oh my gosh, she's Innocent crazy. Kids. Buckle up, guys, let's go. Bye. All right, I just had to run to the Dubai Mall to do a few errands, and I wanted to check in with you and show you what my under eye area is looking like. You can see that Bloomingdale's is behind me, and it's written in Arabic. But when I look at the under eye area, my left eye, I think, looks a little bit dry I can see the lines starting to come out and that's always the thing I want to avoid whereas my right eye just seems and it actually feels more 
moisturized. It feels more dewy if that makes sense. And I feel like I can really see a difference, especially in this light because there's not that much natural light in front of me. So I am kind of in a more dim area. It's a really noticeable to me. So I'm going to go home now. And before that, I'm going to run to one other store. I'll show you what that is. And we'll check in at home and see how this under eye area is looking. I'm sure you've all heard of boots. I'm back home, my hair is up, the day is almost over, and I wanted to quickly check in with you one more time before I lose any more sunlight. The sun sets so quickly here in Dubai, and I have to have at least a little bit of natural light to shoot this video. So I have to say, when I was driving home, I was at a red light, and I looked in my rear view mirror, and I was so shocked by what I saw. And I feel like I've seen it all. It takes a lot to shock me, but I was shocked. And it's because one of my under eye areas looked about 10 years older than the other one. And that is the Vanish Concealer by Hourglass. There are lines right now on my under eye area that are magnified, illuminated, heightened, whatever you wanna call it, that I did not even know I had. And my other under eye area that has the Tarte Creaseless Concealer still looks pretty good. It looks hydrated, it looks dewy. I didn't even have to think twice about it. I was so focused on my left eye. I can't believe I just walked through the mall like this. And, I feel terrible saying this. I have met the founder of Hourglass Cosmetics. She is amazing. She's so supportive. She's lovely. She's wonderful. And one time she even sent me a whole box full of her lipsticks. It was fantastic. So I feel terrible saying this. I do love a lot of Hourglass products, but this concealer just didn't work for me. I think it's really designed for somebody that has normal to oily skin or combination skin. Definitely not for anyone with dry skin or mature skin. Maybe they'll come out soon with a complimentary product to this concealer that is aimed more towards the dry skin, which makes me think of the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I just love this one. It works so well for me. There is the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, that is their most famous concealer, and I did make a vlog-style review comparing the two of them about a year ago. Go say hi to me over there and check out that review. And of course, if you haven't guessed already, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer is still my favorite. This is still my number one. I did receive a lot of compliments today on the foundation I'm wearing. It's the Nude Six Tinted Cover Foundation I mentioned earlier. I have a really fun, comprehensive, ingredients analysis Dubai style vlog on this product.